it was only days ago where a very bright fireball mm -hmm. came across the New York skyline. Yes. So what is a fireball? It's simply a bigger meteor. Uh -huh. all right, most meteors are the size of a pea. So you have an asteroid, okay. all right? There's a rock moving around the sun. Right. Some of their orbits cross the orbit of the Earth. And asteroids we think of as big objects, but they're smaller bits of rock out there. Right. All right. As it moves through Earth's atmosphere and is rendered a glow, we call it a meteor. Okay. See that meteor? Look at that. It's synonymous with shooting star right. or falling star. Okay. Okay. It's the same thing. Same thing. If it is big enough to survive this encounter with Earth's atmosphere, okay. then a piece will land on the ground. Okay. You go pick up that piece, Ooh. it's no longer a meteor, it's a meteorite. Meteorite. That's it. Mm. So we have two different words for the same object. For the same thing. Just simply if it's visible if it's, in the air. If it's in flight, it's not a meteorite. Depending on what the structural integrity of the rock is, uh -huh. will determine how big it has to be in order to survive the trip. Okay. By the way, it takes seconds to come through the air. All right. The, the full yeah. width of the atmosphere. It's just a matter of seconds. You could get a golf ball sized meteor through the atmosphere and land on the ground. Ooh. Okay. That's not very big. No, it's not very big. It's not very big. 